A while back, I made a video seeing how well the old saw blade drill bit trick works, at least doing it the way that folks have said it should work. This is where, in theory, you use a drill bit the same diameter as the blade is thick to offset the thickness of the blade for certain table saw joinery. During my testing, I measured the shank end of a drill bit to determine its size, but then used the fluted end to run my test. Now, some saw this as foul play, or at least improper testing methods, and according to the comments, apparently a lot of folks are under the impression that the shank of a drill bit will have a different diameter than the business end. And since I recently got a fancy new set of calipers in the shop, I thought it might be interesting to see if indeed the two ends measure differently. Now the two drill bits that I used in the video were these, an eighth inch twist bit and an eighth inch brad point bit. Ironically, I do get a different reading with the new calipers compared to the old ones, which we'll go over in a future video, but it does appear that both ends of both bits measure the same. Since most of the bits in my shop have probably five to 10 years of wear on them, I figured I would go out and buy brand new sets and see if I could get different results. Now, I realize that there are a ton of different types of drill bits out there with different manufacturing processes and whatnot, but a drill bit is usually made by taking one solid round blank like this and then milling away the material that we don't want, like to shape the flutes or to establish the cutting angle. So as long as you're not actually adding material to the outside of that blank, the outside diameter should measure the same along its whole length. Of course, with the exception of reductions like a step reduction or an add-on for the chuck jaws. This is especially true for bits smaller than a quarter inch. The drill bits that we use fabricating wood, plastic, and soft metals in woodworking setting are often going to be twist bits and brad point bits, which is exactly why I use them for those other videos tests. But as you can see here, every one of these drill bits measures the same from shank to tip or at least close enough. This is definitely up there with one of the weirdest topics I've ever done in a video, but for those that didn't know, now you know. We'll see you in the next video.